Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. A little more sunshine like I thought we'd get today. Thank goodness. 72 Santa Cruz, middle 80s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then some parts of the coast still struggled, as we said, lingering on some of the beaches. And when we say that, we generally mean around the peninsula, seaside, marina, PG, not with a much sun today. 62 to about 65. 79, though, in Carmel Valley. Yeah, it makes a big difference if the sun's out in terms of what you get in temperature wise. 68 Salinas. 83 in King City, some 90 south of there, and we're going to see a whole lot more of those by the time we get into the weekend. 79 in San Jose today, middle 80s, Morgan Hill, Gilroy, and 82 in Hollister. Low clouds are plenty this morning. Oh, they were all the way down the valley past Bradley. So, and then, of course, they hooked into Hollister and went up and down. Of course, they kind of moved both directions in the, in the Santa Clara Valley, Gilroy kind of in between it all. Uh, low clouds burned off. Now we got some sunshine, uh, but they lingered around the peninsula again uh, for a while today. And that, wow, <laughs> looks like we got a little, did the system crash on me? I, I hope not. I'll work it. Well, there we go. We're back. <laughs> uh, the low clouds have burned off, but as we say, we always look towards the peninsula to see those patches, and they just kind of remained right through the day. They're already working back towards Salinas now, so uh, we're certainly not going to clear out this time of night. Uh, satellite radar showing we had the same story up and down the coast. They were struggling even down around L.A. and San Diego. San Diego didn't see a whole lot of sun today, but their water temperatures are warmer, so they still ended up with a 71. Upper 90s in Fresno, 107 in Palm Springs. Okay, let's switch gears. Let's get into the tropical stuff. This is Harvey. Harvey's been around for a while, but really wasn't uh, much of a weather maker, really kind of a weak tropical system moving across the Caribbean, uh, came actually across the Yucatan Peninsula. And when it got into the Gulf, then things got interesting over the last 24 hours. A lot of warm water in the Gulf and low shear, and that means it's a good environment for a hurricane to spawn, and it did. It became a tropical storm yesterday. Now you can see that swirl there. The rain bands are still, for the most part, offshore, but rain is probably going to be the number one factor with this. Of course, we're talking about Texas here. Brownsville's about right there, then Corpus Christi, then Galveston. This is an area that tends to get some hurricane activity from year to year just because of where they sit. Now, it's going to strengthen into maybe a Category 2 or Category 3. That means winds could be around 120 miles an hour when this thing makes landfall. So that in and of itself can really do some damage, those kinds of winds. With that, you're getting a storm surge. Buoys offshore, just checked, running about 40 to 60 miles an hour, well offshore, about 200 miles out. And then the next problem is, you can see this is the track, and you're going, well, why are all these kind of on top of each other? Because it slows down and becomes stationary. That could drop somewhere between 15 and 30 inches of rain. Think about that. That's the yearly rainfall that we get around here, like in Santa Cruz in a couple of days. That could cause some catastrophic flooding. Winds 85 miles an hour right now and uh, are going upwards. Warm temperatures, of course, inland, cool to coast, marine layers in place and hot temperatures over the desert, but they are going to start to work towards us over the weekend. Low clouds, they'll slip down the valley again later on tonight. We'll put in some patchy fog in the morning. Uh, by midday, we should get a clearing going. Could linger on some of the uh, beaches around the peninsula, but I think we'll get a full clearing tomorrow on all the beaches eventually. Lighter winds overnight, the arrows just kind of shrink up. You barely even see them uh, tomorrow morning, but in the afternoon here, they come back again. We've got a pretty solid breeze, so you're certainly not going to see any heat at the coast with that kind of onshore flow. 55 to about 60 or so, coastal low clouds spreading inland, and we put the patchy fog, mist, and drizzle in the mix. Mid-60s uh, to low 70s at the coast, not a huge change from today, but Probably a little bit more sunshine and hopefully a little bit earlier in some cases. Upper 70s to upper 80s for most inland and including the hills, but of course a little warmer south of King City. And here are the details. Mid 60s in San Francisco, middle 70s in Mountain View. In the Santa Clara Valley, your normal hot spots around Morgan Hill and Gilroy pushing into the upper 80s. 84 in Hollister. So tomorrow not hot. By Sunday, you put in 9 in front of those numbers. Now we're talking middle 90s. 70 in Salinas, low 80s in Soledad, about 86 in King City. At the coast, we'll stick with 60s from Monterey, Seaside, and Marina, but keeping our fingers crossed for a little earlier clearing, 81 in Carmel Valley, and Santa Cruz and up into the hills, Football. also looking at 70s and 80s. Yeah, High School Playbook Blitz, of course, starts tomorrow. We've got 14 games on the schedule, and you look at these numbers inland, 
80s to upper 90s by yeah. Sunday and then some triple digits Monday, Tuesday. The pinnacles could be at around 110 by then, so plan ahead. A little toasty for football. It could be, it could be a warm yeah. night. Yeah, they're yeah. going to be, their training is going to come in. Well, play. they've been two a, doing two a day, so they're, yeah, yeah, they're going to be okay. Lots of Gatorade. There you go. <laughs> All right.